Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Monday morning. Utah time is currently 611. If you're heading out the door pretty soon, make sure that you bundle up. It's a cold start to the day as most of us are beginning with temperatures in the teens and 20s. Salt Lake City is actually one of the warmer spots right now, currently checking in with a temperature of 30 degrees, while we have a few spots in southernmost Utah that are just uh, that are just above the freezing mark, sitting at 37 in St. George and sitting at 37 in Lake Powell. So again, it's a cold start to the morning and we still have some ongoing freeze warnings some of which include lower Washington County and portions of Grand and San Juan counties. These freeze warnings are going to continue until 10 o'clock this morning. So across the entire state, it's pretty chilly out there, but at least you're not going to find any issues as you head off to work or school when it comes to our weather outside of the chilly temperatures because we have clear conditions. The view right now from St. George with our Southern Utah University camera network looking absolutely lovely as we look towards the silhouette of the Red Rock right there. Then as we make our way up into northern Utah, we have the twinkling stars above, calm conditions down below, and the view from Albion Basin from Alta looking absolutely incredible, still showing some of that residual snow from our most recent storm systems that have moved through. Those pictures really don't get much better than that. As we go through today, our daytime highs, they're going to be well below our seasonal averages. It just won't be quite as cool compared to what we saw yesterday. For most across the state, daytime highs will mainly range in the 40s and 50s. So again, still well below our seasonal averages, but just that fraction warmer than yesterday. Yesterday, we only topped out in the mid 40s along the Wasat front. I do think a few spots today, like Salt Lake City and down in Spanish Fork, will top out in the upper 40s, while Ogden will top out at 46 degrees. Then it'll be turning chilly again tonight. It just won't be quite as chilly compared to what we're waking up to this morning as Park City this afternoon sees a daytime high of 41. Daytime highs in the Uinta Basin mainly going to be in the low to mid 40s. In central Utah, daytime highs in the 40s and 50s here with 43 for Nephi, 43 for, Verif for Fairview, then Castledale and Green River will see a daytime high in the low 50s. Then down in southern Utah, daytime highs in the 40s and 50s here with a daytime high of 49 in Beaver, 46 in Bryce Canyon, turning cold tonight, something that you want to keep in mind maybe if you're going camping with an overnight low of 13 degrees, while St. George this afternoon will be the warm spot coming in at 62, but the average for this time of year in St. George right around 70. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast. I'm going to start this at 7 o'clock this morning, and I'm just going to fast forward it from today through tonight and then into our Halloween. And as you'll see here on the future cast, there's not a lot to see. We'll see mostly sunny skies during the day, mostly clear skies at night, which means for your Halloween, there's nothing really spooky about the forecast. However, it will be a little bit chilly for those of you heading out during the evening hour. So this is a look at your trick or treat forecast for tomorrow evening along the Wasat front and by five o'clock in the evening, we should be in the low 50s, 50 degrees at six o'clock. And then if you're going to be heading out a little bit later on from seven through nine p.m., those temperatures will gradually be falling through the 40s. You might want those bulkier costumes if you're heading out late, but if you're heading around five, six o'clock, that just should that should just be comfortable for those trick or treaters out there. And then down in St. George, not too different, just temperatures a little bit warmer and you would expect that five o'clock temperature of 66 degrees temperature falling into the low 60s by seven o'clock and then by nine o'clock that temperature eventually falling back into the middle 50s. So our temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit warmer compared to what we get today and that warming trend is actually going to continue throughout most of this week and we'll show you why that's the case by showing you the upper level future cast the upper level low pressure that dragged in those really cold temperatures over the weekend and what we're dealing with right now is quickly moving out of the way to the northeast high pressure will be building in we'll be going on that warming trend keeping mostly sunny skies throughout most of this week but by friday into this weekend the high pressure starts to move down to the south opening up the door to a more progressive pattern i think that we stay relatively quiet through the weekend but forecast models are optimistic that by the time we move into next week that's when we start to see some bigger changes in our weather in st george we'll go from the low 60s today to the upper 60s for our Tuesday and Wednesday, then daytime highs settling into the low and mid 70s from Thursday through this upcoming weekend, which also is when we fall back for this year. So something to keep in mind there along the Wasatch front, upper 40s for today, low to mid 50s for our Tuesday, upper 50s on Wednesday. Those overnight lows will continue to moderate as well. And for our Thursday, Friday through the weekend, temperatures plateauing in the low to mid 60s for the daytime highs with overnight lows mainly in the mid 40s and adding in a slight chance on Friday and Sunday.